Okay, so if you've been following along with this series so far, we've reached a point where we can start to do some real damage. We have tables, we've got data, we can get rid of those tables. So there's a command in MySQL, in SQL, called drop. Drop is used to get rid of a table, or get rid of a database, or get rid of a server. Now, just like everything else in MySQL, there is no undo. So if you run this command, say goodbye to whatever you've dropped. There is no coming back from that. It is gone. So in PHP My Admin, if you are using this, you can click on the drop link here, or you can select one or more, and then with everything selected, click on drop. So this will prompt you, are you sure that you want to do this? Um, I'm going to say yes. There is no undo, so once I do that, the table is gone. Now, the SQL command, it's extremely simple. It is simply just drop table or drop database or drop server, depending on what it is that you want to get rid of, and then the name of the thing that you want to get rid of. So you can, if you want, if you're going to try and prevent some errors, I'm just going to jump back here. So numeric data, string data, these are the two tables that we're going to get rid of. Um, if you want to try and prevent errors and tell the database, you know, I want you to drop this thing, but check to see if it exists first. That is an option that we can put in here. Put in here. So we can say drop table if exists, and then that's going to prevent some errors for us potentially. And we can say numeric data. That's the table name. Like everything in MySQL, if you want, you can put the backtick characters around it. This is just in case there's a space inside the name. Click go. Are you sure you really want to do this? Yep. And gone. Okay, so it ran this command. If we come back here, table is gone. So string data, come in here again. Drop table if exists. String data and go. Boom, it's gone. And that's it. That's the command. Drop table and then the name or drop table if exists and then the name. All right. So that's the whole command. Now, if you um, have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will leave a link to the uh, MySQL reference page for drop table inside the description. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.